Now, this is a fun one. I had no idea what I was facing. Luckily, I got to go second and see what they were dealing with first. But when I saw what they were playing, I got a little worried. So, let's draw my hand of no monsters and start this duel. So right off the bat, they start with some virtual world cards. And I'm just like, oh, I wanted to build a virtual world deck, but um, that also is bad news for me, a Cyber Dragon player. Let's take a look at what the heck we are dealing with here. So pretty much you could target one virtual world monster from your hand. Target um, So, you know, they go ahead and summon. Then you could target a monster on the field, remove a card from your deck to summon another one. And... So on and so forth, and blah, 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 blah. And some of these cards can be activated from the graveyard and move from play to do other stuff. Not too familiar with it, but I did read them during the duel. And yeah, it was uh, crazy. So pretty much it allows you to special summon a lot of cards. So right here, you got a nine-star synchro card. And basically, this thing could remove two cards from the graveyard to special summon itself back, except the turn that it's sent to the graveyard. So this thing just keeps coming back and back and back. So it was a little scary. And then the other card they activated lowers or raises an attack uh, level by three. So it could have gone to 12 or down to six. So to synchro into Cloud Castle, which prevents anything from attacking the, the turn it's summoned, unless it's over eight stars, they had to lower it down. But that wasn't the reason. So they bring back their Shenshin, they use Cloud Castle, and they bring out the true king of all calamities. Let's take a moment to talk about this bad boy. Two level nine monsters, and this is a quick effect. You can detach one material, so it has two, and you can clear any attribute. This turn, all face of monsters on the field become that attribute. Also, any thing with that attribute, so anything that's affected by this effect, cannot activate effects or attack the turn, you know, while it's that attribute. Then monsters that true Draco, true king monsters in your hand would destroy with their effects can be chosen from your opponent's field. That it's not really the effect we're looking at. It's really more your effects, as well as attacks, are pretty much negated unless you can get around this effect itself. Making it pretty much, uh, <laughs> there's nothing you could do about it. So I'm just like, oh, wow. So yes, I'm a Cyber Dragon player and I'm playing Eater Millions. Um, honestly, it was one of those cards where I wanted to put something else in and I don't like hand traps too much, so I didn't, I only have one Max C and one, um, sheesh, I can't remember the name of that little witch girl, but you know, the one that everyone uses. Oh, yes, this one. Ash Blossom. There, there you go. I only have one Ash Blossom, one Max C, and one um, Imperm in my deck. I think that's it for hand traps, honestly. And then, so. So what do I do? I go to do Cyber Emergency, you know, Special Summon a Monster, but they Ash Blossom to negate it and destroy it. So unfortunately, it went to the graveyard. Um, once that went to the graveyard, I was like, all right, I'm just going to set my three cards and end my turn, because the best thing about his field so far, the best thing about this player in general is they have zero in hand, two monsters on the field that can't negate anything, and they pass turn. So, oh, and then it was my turn, which unfortunately they used their last card to negate, and now they're gonna draw one card. Unfortunately, Virtual World has cards that activate from the graveyard. So by removing a card, you can get rid of another card from your deck to hand. So they chose this one. And when you have a Virtual World on the field, you can target it, or discard one card from your hand, to special summon that card. And then they're also bringing Shenshin back, the first Synchro, because you can remove it two cards from your graveyard, special summon it on the turn it wasn't destroyed. I believe that's the turn one banished monster. Oh, that's one of the attacks. But anyways, there's its ability right there. So they filled up their field. Um, when they summon this one, the six star, they also allowed them to special summon another six star without its effect being, you know, used for the turn. So, cool. Nothing can negate. Let's go ahead and use Torrential Tribute, the best card on the field at this point in time. So Torrential, a rare card, by the way, crafted if you haven't crafted it already. I highly suggest crafting three. And I destroyed everything. Cool. They have absolutely nothing. I go and check their graveyard to make sure nothing can be activated from the graveyard. I'm like, all right, well, it's literally up to what they draw. So I go ahead and I summon my core. Finally, I draw a Cyber Dragon Monster. And I'm like, all right, well, let's use Cyber Emergency. Because I don't know. I know Shenshin could come back. So I have to be prepared for that because I cannot OTK with what I have. So I go ahead and I summon out my two monsters for everyone's favorite Link Monster and the Cyber Dragon. 
Um, the Cyber Dragon Pool, Cyber Dragon Seeger. I think it's also the only Cyber Dragon Link monster. I think we need more of those, guys. All right, Cyber Dragon Seeger attack. Obviously, I can't activate its ability because then battle damage would be zero, which would then be pointless. So I pass turn. I still have Cybernetic Overflow face down and Storming Air Force face down. Yes, I'm playing these cards. So Emergency, um, what is it? Emergency Teleport. Special Summon one level three or lower Psychic Monster from your hand or deck. Banish it at the end of the turn. That sucks, but okay, whatever. Let's keep going. So, okay, that gets the sense of the grave. Then Shen Shen's coming back. I'm like, ugh, all right. But in my head, I'm like, okay, nothing here can negate, so we're kind of safe, right? So Shen Shen gets on the field and activate my Cybernetic Overflow. Basically, I can banish Cyber Dragons with different levels from hand, face up on the field, or graveyard, and or graveyard, and then destroy the equal number of cards my opponent controls. This doesn't negate, it just destroys. I had to wait for everything to be on the field. I'm like, all right, here's two. They have nothing else in hand, and nothing in graveyard can activate after this, so... And I just use two different leveled Cyber Dragons, and they're in my graveyard right now. Core and um, Naxter. So I'm like, okay, I have exactly two. I'm not going to get rid of my Seeger unless I had to, which I don't. So I'm just like, okay, let's get rid of both of them. So I'll remove them from play, which is funny because Overload Fusion works with uh, remove from play monsters. So destroyed the cards, and guess what? Turn switch. My turn. Ooh, right, Gaki. Now that's fun. So they have nothing, they have nothing gray rare that's triggerable, so I'm just like, all right, well, I'm gonna attack. I'm like, you know what, this is quick play, so I'm gonna use it as well. Now, if you have an open field, or there's just monsters that are weaker than 2100 on your opponent's side of the field, go for Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Now, what I could have done better is I could have used Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon effect, or I could have special summoned this prior to using Seeger's attack, because this would have put it to 42, and then Seeger's attack damage would do nothing, but 42 would hit directly, which isn't different than this right now, except this has an ability. As mentioned in a previous video, when it's special summoned, the amount of materials used can destroy magic trap cards in the field, so uh, they have nothing, and I'm not destroying my own, so that's a pointless effect at this point in time. And then it could attack one or two more times if I were to send up to two light monsters, machine monsters from my deck to graveyard. So that could have been... That right there is over 12,000 damage. Problem is, I attacked one after... I summoned this afterwards, and I also chose not to use its attack uh, effect. The reason why I did this, and I was stupid, is because I thought it was going to ask to destroy my own card, so I was like, oh, let's not. And then when I said no, I was like, wait, I can't activate the effect. So it was kind of my bad. But you know what? Adding salt to the wound, they only have one card they can use anyway. So I was like, 1,700 life points. I'm... Pretty good here. Blazing Mirror Force in case anything gets um, out of hand. And I have Seeger, which can go up to 42. Or I can bring Rampage uh, Dragon up to 42 if Seeger isn't targeted for the attack. Because I knew Shenshin was coming back. I was like, okay, that's one card I have to get rid of. So I have the ability to take care of it. But they didn't read my card effect, so guess what? They're, when this card actually does attack, it can um, take a remove from play card and send it back to a graveyard. So that's what it's about to do. Send back one of the remove from play cards back to their graveyard. But... Doesn't matter, but because I use Seeger's ability, no battle damage. But also, there was nothing else they can do. And and that's where Cyber Dragons triumphed over Virtual World and True King of All Calamities. I was so nervous, especially when you drew a hand with no monsters. But when you find out that they have nothing to really negate spells and trap cards, and they discard their Imperial Order earlier on, it felt good so took the victory and man oh man i had fun with it hope you enjoyed it as well cyber dragons up again see you next time here's a quick look of the opponent's deck did you like the video if you did smash that like button i appreciate any and all help and support let me know what you want to see in future videos comment below the decks you'd want to see me face or maybe if you want me to try certain cards in my cyber dragon deck I'll explain how or why in the video and maybe try to find another duelist to duel against using those cards. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.